Welcome back to Good Morning Texas. Now, coming up in the next 30 minutes, we're going to have some great bridal boot camp tips. Maybe you're looking for a new fresh face, or maybe you are getting married. Well, Marcus Munson, he's from Girl on Cosmetics. He's going to get you guys camera ready and show you what's new for fall. Okay, and well, it's one of the most important days in a woman's life, so she wants to look her very best. So now is the time to start your makeup for a fall wedding. And this is Marcus Munson. You know who he is. He's the national makeup artist for Girl on Cosmetics. He's here with a bridal boot camp and a lovely lady to boot. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? It's Judy? always good to see you. Okay, this you. this segment speaks to so many getting ready for their fall weddings, yes. but also to anybody who kind of wants to update their look and maybe they're just not getting it right. Well, so true. A lot of brides right now, there's a lot of planning and preparation that go into it. And yes. where's the one place that all the brides go? They get a makeup artist, they get a hairdresser, but they go straight to the gym. And so they have an exercise, a cardio routine. Yes. So what I want them to do is get a skincare routine going. And the first thing that they want to do, being a bride, there's so much stress that goes into planning a wedding. Yes. Stress is the one place it manifests it right around the eyes so you want to get a good eye serum day and night if you're one of our younger brides if you're <laughs> one that's looking maybe for a little bit more nourishment then you can go into an orchidae eye cream to help with the little fine lines okay. and things like that skin care is the first step in having good beauty well definitely take care you of wanna, that skin you want to mask your skin too because you're going for Pilates and yoga so okay. you want to this is the coolest thing on the market today tell my GMT viewers about this this well, is so cool this is a mask both of these you can put in the refrigerator this is a hydrating mask that you put all over your face and everybody wants to be this glowing bride. What this does, it's got desert rose extract, and it puts so much more nourishment back into the skin when you leave it on for about 20 minutes. It's like a mask, and you you put it on, and you look like Jason, and it's like... It's so incredible. And it's cold, and you leave it on, and you take it off, and you're all like, low, well, lifted. And then, because with that, you want to go and find that perfect foundation. We've all seen horror stories of makeup artists yeah. that have done a bride's makeup, and they're just so disappointed. And the bride really needs to be more educated when it comes to makeup. And one of the big areas, they want to find a foundation that really stays on that last and a lot of times that's usually an either or with the right. foundation that we did on Emily it's called lingerie de peau and it's a long wearing foundation that lets the skin breathe yeah. and that's really a makeup artist's choice for foundation yeah and you want to get a good powder this powder right here because with all the photographs you want to take away that shine you still want to have a glow but in photographs you want to take your powder and hit right along the t-zone right yes. here so in, in the photographs you have a beautiful look to yourself so okay this is like a, the best combination on the planet because yes. we want coverage and we want it to be long lasting but we want to look like we don't have all that coverage on so well, you get coverage without the coverage this is really a genius thing definitely and then we'll think about it and now a belated happy birthday to you because and think about this as far as lips for a bride speaking of old okay, yes, well, we'll brides, transition brides need to have a good lip on but it can't be too bold because that takes the look off center so you want to get a shade that's maybe one to two shades richer than your lip and if you want to show this we did something for you we had it engraved and it's a great bridesmaid gift yeah. Gift. It actually, you can engrave the Rouge G, and it's just a beautiful shade number three, and that's what's on oh, Emily she here. Has. And oh, then, this color. Okay, this is the color she has on. And then think about it. The last thing that you want to do is you want to have a signature fragrance for your wedding. You want to leave a trace of yourself in the memory of others. And you know that saying, something old, something new, something yes. borrowed? What I did is I brought a new fragrance called Shalimar Initial. It's got rose. It's got bergamot. It's got iris. It's got a pretty container. Well, and it's really, you kind of have a great scent, and it's just a whisper of a fragrance. A whisper. And then this right here, for anybody who wants that pure romance in a wedding, this is called Floral Romantique. And even the name says it all. You love this fragrance in the I back. I do. I mean, I don't want, I just want romance, period. I don't need to be getting married. I just want it to be, I just want to be romantic. Aren't that, isn't that, that a beautiful so fragrance? Oh, this is so good. And it's very good for right now if you want to update your fragrance because it's not heavy. It's just no. like that beautiful summer. So lightweight. But isn't this all just a great thing for the summertime? Yes. It's a great way to cool down, but really look hot, hot, hot. So good. Chris, you should smell me right now. I smell really good. That's going to Well, say, you look I'm, good. I'm going to say, thank Thank you for saying that. He's just saying so that. So where is people going to come and see me? Um, Neiman Marcus, North Park, today. Today. Yes, today. You're there today. I'll be there today the and tomorrow from 10 to 6. 10 to 6, and they can come and see this product. Lovely model probably won't be there, but you look amazing. And you'll be able to tell them about their bridal tips Definitely, for today. definitely. All good stuff. We love it. We're going to send it over to the equally good smelling Chris Flanagan. Yeah, always smelling good. Thanks. I may not after this.